Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. If you can see how big the smile on my face is right now, that's because I'm very excited about today's video, very excited about what I'm about to reveal. So as you guys may have known, yesterday I announced that I would be revealing something today, the final set in the fall 2022 lineup for Halo Mega Constructs. It's a great honor and I want to thank Yan in particular and the whole team at Mega for just the bang up job they're doing this year. Things are shaky, you know, worldwide right now, but Mega are committed to releasing a quality lineup this year. What I would argue is probably the best lineup we've seen in many, many years. Mega's lineup this year is stacked up with Halo Heroes Series 16, the Ghosts of Requiem, Red Team Charge, Scorpion Clash, and the Banished Phantom, as well as ODST Hive Exterminators. How could I forget that one? But we're about to get one more addition to that line, which I think just completes it and also offers something that we've never got before. This set is so unique, unlike anything from the past 13, 14 years. It's amazing that we've come to this point that Mega's approached me and let me reveal this and just what it is. Like, I'm still coming to terms with it. I said in my video yesterday, I've spent like the last 24 hours just staring at this image. I think it's so epic. It's such a cool direction for Mega to take. And this set is so unique that it is a turning point whether or not Mega makes more like this. In the past, we've had buildable replicas like the Energy Sword and the Covenant Needler. But what comes next is gonna shock everyone. It certainly shocked me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Without further ado, I would like to reveal for the first time the new set from Mega Constructs 2022 Fall Lionel. Check it out. <laughs> Report! Both engine cores have spun to zero. We're drifting. Archer pods are cold. I'll need to rekey the system. Do it and find out where we are. Cortana, what exactly am I looking at? Infinity, this is Sierra 117 of the UNSC Forward Under Dawn. Do you copy? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the collectible Forward Unto Dawn. My favorite ship in Halo Man brought to life again in Mega Constructs form. Of course, we collectors out there know the Forward Unto Dawn well already. The very first signature build in all its divine glory. And this set holds so much precious memory to me. It was the biggest fast build that I'd ever made back in the day with Craig. I made a video two years ago comparing this to the UNSC Infinity. We also got a micro build of this in the new dawn blind bags it's a legacy ship it's a legacy build and it deserves to be brought back to life with this awesome set the collectible forward unto dawn building set with accurate design faithful detail and display stand the build measures 13.95 inches and features a buildable display stand with premium printed nameplate highly detailed superposable miranda keys micro action figure with removable combat accessories 702 bricks and pieces combined with all mega building sets and a compatible with other named brands. Ideal for ages 10 plus, this building set helps to strengthen creative thinking skills. As the UNSC's predominant escort ship, this buildable replica of the UNSC Forward Unto Dawn has provided aid throughout many classic battles. Now you can build support for your collector's case with this faithfully designed building set. Build the Dawn down to its flagship details and proudly dock it atop your mantle or whatever you want to provide into stellar expansion. <laughs> Very nice. Ideal for ages 10 plus. Okay, and in the box is one micro action figure and 702 bricks and pieces. A buildable forward unto dawn, guys. Who would have thought it? Amazing. Ah, uh, let's have a deep dive into that image, shall we? So first of all, gorgeous display. I love the background of this image. Very forerunner. We've got the nice new mega halo logo in the corner. Very crisp. And then the details on this build are amazing. I was actually surprised by the piece count. I thought it would be less than that. So it's great to see just how big this thing is. 
and I can't wait to display it next to my needler and uh, energy sword, of course, because it's clearly akin to that aesthetic design, but also next to my main Forward Unto Dawn. And I know that although the big signature build Forward Unto Dawn is beloved by the fans, one criticism it did always receive was it was based on a concept art for the Forward Unto Dawn, not the actual end ship. So people said it wasn't really representative of what the Forward Unto Dawn actually looks like. This one is. This looks exactly like the Forward Unto Dawn. I can like visualize it in Halo 2 cutscenes right now and I'm looking at this thing. It's beautiful that it came with Miranda Keys, but a lot of people did predict that Miranda Keys was going to be in a set yet to be announced because her image, her render, is on the Mega website right now as a 2022 figure, which doesn't make sense. She came out in the 20th character pack, but not since. And also, this is really beautiful that I revealed the original Miranda Keys uh, two years ago, and now I'm revealing the new one. That's so dope. That's so great. Um, she has a lot of details, a lot of stripes on her service uniform, some silver buckles, even stripes on her arms. She looks fantastic, honestly. And that Miranda Key head we've seen used again in the Wasp Onslaught Marine, but it's great to see it come back. It looks phenomenal. Then the base plate, like that's what I mean by it being akin to like the energy sword because the base plate is quite similar. Comes with that UNSC forward unto dawn. That, that, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. I love the image of the actual Dawn with the UNSC logo on it. And then the translucent blue base to the base plate. Then the rod feeds right up into the forward and to Dawn. And there is a lot of printed detail on this thing, varying from the forward and to Dawn uh, logo running across different colored bricks. So you can see that the gray is actually uh, printed on one brick. Like all of the flat pieces, they kind of look like they're multiple bricks, but when you look closely, they are just one brick. We've got the blue translucent pieces also used for the main service deck, and you can see some kind of window transfers as well. The UNSC logo on the back, and then if we're talking about the rear, translucent thruster pieces as the forward unto dawn is racing towards that slip space portal. I am in love with this thing. Some red highlights as well, FFG201, and a nice mix of different gray and black colored bricks. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. The Forward Onto Dawn drops this year, and I can confirm that it is a Target exclusive. Exclusive products are one of those realities with retail, and to be honest, I'm not for or against it. I know that some people might be concerned if there aren't Targets in their area, but keep in mind the Target exclusivity is just for US stores, so international stores can still ship and sell this, including things like maybe game stores in England, or Amazon. They are welcome to stock this, just not in America. So if you're a US citizen, Target is the place to go. I'm uh, going to Minnesota in a month's time, so that's pretty good for me because that's the home of Target. <laughs> I think I'll be able to find a few. But yeah, it will probably be very widely distributed across Targets, especially with an exclusive deal. And keep in mind, exclusive deals are a really good way of mega basically shaking hands with big companies like Target or Walmart, building a better relationship with them. Better relationships with stores, sell more stock, and convince them to stock even more in the future. So I think we should support this as a Target exclusive, see how it goes, and see how distribution ends up. So ladies and gentlemen, the collectible Forward Unto Dawn is the final set in the fall 2022 lineup for Mega Constructs Halo. And I wanna take a big moment to thank Mega for supporting my channel, for allowing me to reveal this, and to better strengthen our relationship together. This is awesome. Like the Versus Diorama contest only ended last weekend, 318 entries and the prizes supplied by Mega. It's a really great time to be in the community and stick it with the domain for all your Halo Mega Constructs news as always. And make sure to search across social medias, find other channels like Halo Podcast Evolved that will be covering this topic as well. Give them a view, give them a like, help support the whole community. So I want those comments filled with what you think of this reveal. This is so epic. And now it's just sort of opened the floodgates, right? Like we had the buildable energy sword and the buildable needle. I think they sold very well, but they were also target US exclusives. And now we've got the forward unto door. So what's next? What ship would you like made by Mega Constructs? We could have a spirit of fire, truth and reconciliation. We could go as far as things like grave mind infected ships. We could have large foreigner installations. Heck, we could even have a guardian. We could have warden eternal. We could have anything in this scale. So the sky's the limit. Let Mega know what you want in the comments down below and and I'm sure they'll be taking a peek at this channel's video. So you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And thank you so much for the support, my friends. I'll see you next time. The Domain is signing off.